Hi, this is Peter Hill. I'm here today to talk about a modification I made to my uh, pod paragliding harness to make it easier to get in and out of the bag. Uh, I had a standard ozone, I guess it's an 80 litre bag. Um, it was just difficult to pack and I've been thinking about why aren't paragliding harnesses more often designed as a reversible harness so I decided to make a modification to my suck air harness to make it reversible using a standard paragliding bag. Um, what's actually done is the standard bag in an area like this on the back is actually sewn right into the back of the harness. So it's a kind of non-reversible change but there's no structural change to the harness itself um, so there's no risk that you are going to impact the ability to fly or its safety. The old harness I had also had a lot of what I thought were rather unnecessary kind of stiffening pieces in it. So basically I've got rid of those and that makes it a lot easier to handle and it doesn't really save any weight but it, it, this was preventing the harness from being easy to pack up because it's quite a big full race harness. So how it works, how you unpack this, first of all you need to take everything out of the, uh, the top of the bag that you're going to need for flying because those things will no longer be easily accessible after the harness is packed, unpacked. Let me just undo the straps, put my uh, jacket to the side as well, unzip here, and then just put the harness down and start immediately folding the bag in on itself. Just literally in, turning it inside out, right there sitting on the back of the harness, it's, it's sewn in so it can't move. Tied it up, fold it over, and then what I did was create an inner bag. I replaced the old bag that contained the bits of stiffening with an inner bag made of ripstop nylon. I guess it was about um, $30 of materials with the nylon and a zipper and some other bits and pieces. So this enables it the bag to be just zipped up in this aerodynamically shaped inner bag that you can see here has a kind of curve and a flat top to maintain the original aerodynamic shape of this harness. Now this is an airbag harness so even if this shape is not as nice as it was previously it doesn't matter because the airbag inflates all the way around this simply zip it up it zips all around and then when you're flying the airflow comes in here and inflates this completely which creates the aerodynamic shape so the bit that was modified doesn't make any impact to the overall shape but it makes it a lot easier So this is part two, this is packing up the new reversible harness that I've modified. Um, when you've landed your paraglider, you probably packed it up in a concertina bag like this. It doesn't really matter if you don't use a concertina bag. Um, I leave my paraglider attached the whole time. I prefer it that way, but it's up to you. Um, so what, what I'm going to do here is just fold this up right into the harness and then put the pot over it. Get a bit of air out. Putting the pot over the harness obviously protects your wing, which is really important, especially if you're traveling. I strap it right in nice and securely. put my helmet there. You could also put the helmet at the end on top of the pack, but I like it there for added protection. And now I'm just going to unzip the airbag portion all the way down. 
roll this up again. There's no stiffening in the airbag portion, so it rolls up easily, and it actually creates some additional padding when you're wearing the backpack, right down at the bottom of your, underneath your back. And then we're gonna unzip the inner bag, flip these out, and then just, the bag just folds out like that. And it's in the right place on the harness to easily put these corners in. Just turn around and give a better view. You just kind of spread it over the bag, flip it over. All large fog harnesses are a little bit tricky to get into their bags, but having it actually in one place because it's sewn into the back means it's always aligned properly and you don't have to fiddle around getting your line done. So there we have it. This takes about 30 seconds to pack your bag. I've had times when tired at the end of a long flight I've literally had to spend three or four minutes getting my paraglider and harness into the bag. And this really consistently will reduce that to about 30 seconds. Thanks for watching.